Hello everybody, welcome to today's math tutorial. We're going to be reviewing chapter 12 and it's Thursday, April 2nd. All right, today's pages were page 813 to 815. And we're going to start today's little review, little tutorial on page 814 with number 16. Okay, number 16 says circle the more reasonable estimate Okay, not exact, for the capacity of a bucket. All right, so I'm assuming this is like a normal size bucket that you take to the beach or something. And we have six milliliters or six liters. And if you remember, back to page 781, one milliliter is about, an eyedropper holds about one milliliter, so about that much. And then a liter is not a full, full size two liter bottle of Coke, it's like this. All right, so what's more reasonable? What's more reasonable estimate for the capacity of this bucket? Six little droplets or six liters? I would say six liters. Number 17, circle the more reasonable estimate for the mass of the chair. We measure mass in grams. So, one gram, if we recall, is equal to one paper clip. That's one gram. And one kilogram is about the same weight, about the same weight as one, two, three, four, five, and avocado. Wait, well, it's about six apples or maybe five apples and an avocado. So that's the weight of one kilogram, okay? So one kilogram, six items like this, or five apples and an avocado, and one gram is a paper clip. All right, so now that we have that, remember that we remember that the mass, when we measure mass, it's measured in grams. So now that we know that, let's take a look. Is this rocking chair about? 15 grams or 15 paper clips? No way. It's gotta be 15 kilograms. All right. Number 18. Number 18 says complete the conversion table. We do this a lot. So I have my conversion sheet with me. And it says kilograms to grams. I'm just gonna go over here and find kilograms and grams. We're talking about mass, not weight. Okay, we're talking about mass. And I'm gonna say one kilogram equals a thousand grams. So I'm gonna take it and put it right on top, or you know what? I'm gonna put it on the bottom. It says one kilogram equals a thousand grams. So we to get from here to here, you're gonna multiply by a thousand. So you're going to do the same thing to all of these. Multiply by 1,000 to get how many grams or how many little paper clips. All right? Cool. Let's go to the next page. And let's look at number 21. I'm going to put my glasses down. Number 21 says, Carson has 21 hundredths of a dollar. How many different combinations of coins could we have? Whoa, that's a lengthy question because there's lots of different ways we can do this. Well, we could use dimes, pennies, and nickels. We can't use quarters because quarters equal 25 cents. So dimes, we're working with dimes pennies, and nickels, okay? All right, so let's just start. We've got here, I kind of wrote some things out. The first option we can do, this is just 21 pennies. 21 pennies, one penny is equal to one cent, so that would equal 21 hundredths. Another way we can do it is doing one nickel and 16 pennies. Because 5 plus 16 is 21. 21 hundredths. Another way we can do it is 2 nickels 
and 11 pennies. 10 plus 11 is 21, 21 hundredths of a dollar. Another way you can do it is three nickels and six pennies. Five, 10, 15 plus six is 21, 21 hundredths of a dollar. We could do four nickels and one penny, five, 10, 15, 20, plus one is 21, 21 hundredths of a dollar. We can do a dime and 11 pennies. 10 plus 11 is 21 hundredths. We could do a dime, a nickel, and six pennies. That equals 21 hundredths of a dollar. We could do a dime, two nickels, and a penny, and that would be 21 hundredths of a dollar. And our last way we can do it is two dimes and one penny. And that equals 21 hundredths of a dollar. So there's nine different combinations. Nine combinations. Let's look at number 23. Shout out to Justin. Justin drank one liter of water during soccer practice. He drank... 2,000 milliliters of water during the soccer game. How many milliliters of water did he drink during practice and the game? Total and. So that means we are adding, this is our key word, we are adding, okay? And we already know which kind of conversion we want to convert to, milliliters, okay? So we know at practice, he drank one liter. So he drank one liter. We need to know how many Milliliters are in a liter. We go back to our conversion chart. Right here it says one liter equals a thousand milliliters. So I'll write right here one thousand milliliters. So that was for practice. I'll put practice. And then during the game, he drank how many? Two thousand milliliters. So we already we don't need to convert that. They already gave it to us. Now that we need to know how many did how many milliliters did he drink at practice and the game, we're just gonna add it up. 1,000 plus 2,000 is 3,000 milliliters. Number 24, Julian. Shout out to Julian. What's up, buddy? Julian walked a distance of two meters. Kira walked a distance of 300 centimeters. Which distance is longer? Okay, so we have meters here and centimeters here. We have two different types of measurements. Well, we can convert one to the other. We can convert centimeters to meters or meters to centimeters. I'm going to convert my meters, how many meters Jeff Julian walked, and I'm going to convert and see how many centimeters. So you're going to write we can do it here. We can show our work here. So we're going to go. Julian. I'm going to do J for Julian. He walked two meters. And we need to know how many centimeters are in two meters. We're going to take our conversion chart and look for centimeters and meters. This is the measuring length and it's metric. Okay. Okay. Let's see. One meter equals 100 centimeters. We're going to take it and put it right underneath. One meter equals 100 centimeters. From 1 to 100, when we're converting, we are multiplying. Small to large, we're going to multiply. Multiply by what? 100. So we're going to do the same thing up top. 2 times 100 equals 200 centimeters. So Julian walked 200 centimeters. And we know how much Kira walked. So Kira walked 300 centimeters. And I'm going to go like this. So now we are at a place where we can compare because they're the same units of measure. So 200 is less than 300. So who walked the longer distance? Which distance is longer? Kiara. Julian, next time, buddy. You'll get it next time. I believe in you. All right, boys and girls. That's all for today. I hope I know that you'll be able to do this with some practice.
use our videos, and good luck with the rest of your assignment. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great one.